there's a there's a lot of people looking for the same type of deals, like the value add, the larger apartments going to make them a bunch of money. And there's a, there's a lot of people out there. That said, uh, I I like to think of like there's a sweet spot in real estate, especially if you're just getting trying to get into that that level where like. You know, there's a lot of people looking for the, I mean, there's a lot of people looking for everything, but in general, there's a lot of the single family parent, the single family rental people out there that are buying houses and the mom and pops that are buying houses and the, and the, you know, just husband and wife or husband and husband or wife and wife, whatever, buying a house, right? There's a lot of those people buying houses and even a lot of house hackers buying the duplex, triplex, fourplex. The five to like 30 range, five to 40 range uh, is typically smaller than you get the professionals. Like I don't buy 30 unit mobile home parks. I don't buy 30 unit apartment complexes because it's too small to generate the acquisition fees and the the overhead that I need for my business. Uh, and so I don't look for that. So you're not competing on that level against me. So I think... And eventually when you get good enough, then you can go compete with the people that have the big teams like myself. Uh, and you can compete with us on the $50 million properties. Uh, but there's a the sweet spot in that like smaller, you know, again, five unit, 10 unit, 15, 20, 25, 30. And you can build up some good financial freedom off just buying a few of those. Uh, they are, they are, I would, I would say they are more difficult than the bigger deals. They require more work than buying a hundred unit. Uh, in terms of like the management isn't baked into the numbers necessarily. They're largely mom and pop managed and oftentimes really poorly managed. But you can find some incredible deals there. I, I'll give you a true story. Uh, I bought a 24 unit in Cincinnati, Ohio just, uh, I don't know, two years ago now. Uh, it lasted a year. And I finally gave up and I sold it to actually the agent who brought it to me originally. Um, I sold it for about what I bought it for. I just couldn't, I couldn't make money on it. Uh, and it was in Cincinnati and I was in Maui and, and granted, like I had a lot of other stuff going on. So I wasn't focused at all on it, and, but by itself, it did not run when I left it by itself. It did not make money. Like if I really focused on it and put my laser beam on it, I, I could drive it to make money by really working my manager hard and making sure that they were like paying attention to everything and, and following up continually. But I, I didn't have the time for that. But you know what? I sold it back to this agent or I sold it to the agent who ended up bringing it to me. And that agent has almost doubled the value of that property in the past year. Like he cleaned it up. He raised the rent dramatically. He kicked out a bunch of the riffraff that were there. And he has completely turned that thing around. He's going to make a ton of money. He's making a ton of cash flow off of it. Like congratulations to him. And I don't feel bad about that at all. It just illustrates the simple truth that like that level of property requires a certain level of management that I was not willing to put in. And um, because of that, I failed at that, or at least you can call it a break even on that. Uh, and then I turned that and I bought a property instead. I just ended up using the money and I bought a property at that triplex here in Maui, which is awesome because here I can dedicate my time and I have systems and people in place to manage that property. Plus it's way smaller, so it's easier to manage. So anyway, bottom line is, uh, you can still make really good money in, in that range. Like again, that was a 24 unit in Cincinnati that I bought, um, you just, it requires a different level of work. And so if you can become an expert at that, I think that's a great way to break into the multifamily space, get in a bunch of those, get really good at that in a certain area. And then you'll have the knowledge and credibility and money and experience to be able to take on those larger multifamilies that will be uh, kind of your golden ticket later on.